As a real estate agent, we are always trying to figure out easier ways to generate leads, especially the newer real estate agent. Or if you're the like the agent that's like, I'm coming back to the business and I needed to work. Let it ride. Or you worked all 2023 and it was hard and you are just still trying to figure out how to generate leads. So what I thought I would do is kind of give you a concept to kind of help you generate leads. Maybe it'll involve some social media, but I, I, what I really want you to do is think about how you can create leads for, you know, to generate buyer leads without it costing you a lot of money. Now you might have to invest some, but this is a way you can do this and make the leads come to you. So here we are. So let's talk about it. We're going to go after buyers because I truly believe buyers are easier to convert than sellers. Now we can, we'll talk about sellers at another time, but let's, let's focus on buyers as a real estate agent. I want you to think about hosting a home buyer's workshop. Sounds boring. When I got licensed in 2001, this was pre-social media. We didn't have social media. So I literally hosted home buyer's workshops like that first year. And I was pregnant. I hosted a home buyer's workshop at least once a quarter, at least once a quarter and in person. The strategy I'm going to give you is for online. So what I want you to do is once a month, if you're like, oh, that's a lot, once a quarter or every other month, once a month, I want you to schedule a home buyer workshop. Now pick the day. It could be a Wednesday night. It could be a Thursday night. It could be Saturday morning. Pick a day. I like uh, Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday or maybe even Saturday because here's the truth. We know Mondays people are like, oh, I had to go back to work. And Fridays, it's like, it's Friday. It's Friday. I want a break. So schedule a home buyer's workshop once a month. I like once a month. Could it, again, you could do it more often or maybe you could just do it every other month or every quarter. Pick a platform where you can host the home buyer's workshop. Now, I really like Zoom. You could do Google Hangouts or Google Meets. You could do Skype. You could do Restream or you, you know, you could do use StreamYard or you could have a private Facebook group. Now, the reason why I am suggesting Zoom or um, let's say a private Facebook group is because now you're you're capturing name and email because the goal is, is you need to capture information so you can contact people later. So I am recommending Zoom. Now, if you are going to use Zoom meetings, you're going to want to go through your settings to make sure no one, you know, gets into your, your meeting and hijacks you, like does something kind of weird, like. We don't, we don't want crazy, um, but you want to probably turn on settings where people can't turn on their cameras or they can't just unmute and do strange things. And I like to make sure it's um, audio via like Wi-Fi, because if you use a phone number, it kind of overrides the, the Wi-Fi. Don't ask me. We're not getting into Zoom, but um, Zoom meeting there, you need some settings. I use Zoom webinar because then I have full control. So pick a platform. Then what I want you to do is, so you're going to pick your day, you're going to pick a platform, and then you are going to, um, you need a place for people to register. The reason why I like Zoom is because they have to register. So could you use Eventbrite? Could you use Facebook? Could you, again, have the Facebook um, group? Dry. Dry mouth. So um, you just need a place to capture information. It could even be a Google form. And then once they fill out the form, you can automatically send them a link to the class. Then what I want you to do is I want you to create a social media post. You could be a video. It could be a post. It could be a post for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, Snapchat, TikTok, X, X, Twitter. Tw I said that already. LinkedIn. You need a place to start marketing it. Um, and then you need a place for people to click. Now, even, and if, even if you're not ready, so let's just say, let's say it's January and you want to host your first buyer's workshop in, say, February, you can come up with the date. You can come up with the things you want in your um, home buyer's workshop, create your post, and then start getting people to register. Then I want you to create a home buyer presentation. Go with easy. I like Cloud CMA. Because, you know, you can use Cloud CMA to go get the steps of home ownership, and then you can go to Canva and you can build out your presentation. If you're like, Carrie, I don't know how, you could literally use Canva Magic, right, to create the presentation. And I bet 
if you go to Canva and choose presentation, I bet there's already one created. And, and here, here's what's great is if you're like, you know what, I don't want to do this by myself, you could host it with a lender, you could host it with an attorney, you could host it with a lender, an attorney, and maybe even an inspector. I'm in Illinois and we use attorneys. In Florida, where I'm also licensed, we don't use attorneys, but um, maybe, you know, I could, again, I could have a loan officer, I could have my uh, inspector, I could have everyone that kind of helps with the process of working with a home buyer. And, and so you could schedule, you could, you could literally let someone else do all the talking. And then at the end, you kind of summarize, you've taken notes, and then you can end and you can tell people if they're ready to get started to, um, that you will reach out to them and you'll give them the opportunity to set up a buyer consultation with you. So what if, like, what if you did this every single month, you should be able to generate a lead. If you're like, you know what, Carrie, I don't even know, how do I title this? Because Home Buyers Workshop is kind of boring. And even when I did it in person, I could have anywhere between 10 and 20 people. And you have to get creative now, nowadays. Let's let's look at um, let's look at ChatGPT. Here's ChatGPT. I put in provide a few creative titles for a home buyer workshop. And, it, and I put example, build wealth, wealth building from a rental to a home. And look what ChatGPT gave me from lease to equity. Unlocking home potential, transform rent payments into property wealth, homebound, the savvy renter's journey to becoming a homeowner, equity escalation, your guide from tenant to home investor. If you're like, I don't know what to do, like, let, let me just take it a step further. You could literally, how about um, unlocking your home potential? Take this title, create a 45 minute class for my new workshop using this title. I should I should probably title this How to Create a Home Buyer's Workshop with ChatGPT. Like ChatGPT is giving me all of the sections. It's helping me and it's, and it's making it, giving me the timed outlines so I know when to switch. And then you can have your call to action. You could even put a QR code on the screen. And they're telling you kind of where, you know, some other things you could do, what visual aids you could use. It, it, ChatGPT created the whole home buyer's workshop for me. You could even do this. How about, Create 12, a create a 12 month calendar for home buyer workshops to be held once a month on a Saturday from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. via Zoom webinar. Give me 12 titles and include a loan officer, attorney, and inspector to be inspector and investor to participate in a few of the seminars workshops. New year, new home, kickstarting your home, sir, home ownership journey. February, love your home. What? Well, think about it. Valentine's Day. Love your furniture home. Love your future. I'm, this is why I need glasses. Love your future home. Spring into action, budgeting and financing your home. April showers bring home powers. Oh, come on. You can't get How easy is this? Let, let's, let's have a home buyer workshop. Let, let's have a home buyer workshop like quick. Right? So, so let me recap. Number one. 
let's host a home buyer workshop every single month. Again, if it feels like a lot, once every other month or maybe once a quarter. Um, remember, buyers are probably easier to convert for most agents. It, you can still go after listings, but let's go after buyers. Schedule your home buyer workshop. Pick the day and try to be consistent with the day per month. I like Zoom. Create a home buyer presentation and have an agenda. And you could simply use ChatGPT. If you're like, Carrie, well, how do I get these people into the class? Social media. Create a social media post. If you want to spend a little bit of money, use your multiple listing service and target people that have rented out properties from your MLS that need to make a decision to move in the next 90 days all the way through today. If you if you're like, you know, I've never I don't even understand how that works, I'm gonna challenge you, sign up for your multiple listing service. Um, I am a contract trainer for Midwest Real Estate Data. And we teach you how to business build. We teach you how to use the tools from the multiple listing service to generate leads. I bet I could probably show you how to do it from your MLS. So thanks for watching. I am Carrie Little, the designated managing broker of Caremark Realty Group. And I want you to learn to earn with me wherever you are in the country or even in the world. So please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and take a few minutes and Hop over to Instagram and make sure, look, look, that's in the way. Hop over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram. If there is something you want to learn from me, type it in the feed. If you feel like, you know what, Carrie, I need help with this or that, let me know. If you truly want to learn the basics of ChatGPT, check out this video. And if you're like, you know what, Carrie, I just need the basics of what it's like to be a new real estate agent, check out this video. Thanks for watching.